Previously on Hell's Kitchen. Who's standing out? Siobhan. The red team pushed Siobhan aside. Blue team, you win. And it ended up costing them the challenge. You should have sent Siobhan's dish instead of Fran. Which sent Siobhan into a rage. I'm fucking pissed off. My team can go fuck themselves. Then the blue team overindulged after the wine blending reward. The quiet reserve Ed turned into like a wild animal. <laughs> and suffered the consequences at dinner service. I need to go to the restroom real quick. Throw up number one. The red team was determined to take advantage of the blue team's hangover. We are finally going to kick their ass. But Siobhan struggled with the scallops. There are some on here that were fine, chef. You donkey! And Fran made a mess of her risotto. Rice is crunchy, and the knobs are not even fucking hard. I'll fix it, chef. Fuck it down! In the blue kitchen, Autumn failed on garnish. Mashed potatoes, salty. Put a little bit of effort into your work, will you please, yes? Yes, chef. And Ed unbelievably served raw duck. It's not good enough, guys! And that pushed Chef Ramsay over the edge. Get out! It was the worst dinner service yet. Winning team, winning what? Both teams had to nominate two of their own for elimination. The blue team chose. First nominee is Autumn. Second nominee chef was Ed. And the red team nominated. We chose Siobhan chef. Second nomination chef is Fran. But in the end, it was an easy decision for Chef Ramsay. Siobhan, I can't do it anymore. Done. And Siobhan's hope of becoming head chef at Gordon Ramsay's new restaurant in London's Savoy Hotel went up in flames. Continuation of Hell's Kitchen. There's 50% of you left. If I've got the best half left in Hell's Kitchen, prove your worth. Good night. Good night, Good night chef. chef. So here. <laughs> Damn, he ripped me to shreds. I shouldn't have been up there tonight. I feel like it's every day I'm fighting for my life here. I am getting pretty damn sick of it. I need to show Chef Ramsay that I've got what it takes to carry on in Hell's Kitchen. Tomorrow's another day. Absolutely. Fran just fucking sucks. She's a nightmare. She's a fucking mess, too. She means well and she tries hard, but she just doesn't have the knowledge. I don't think she tries. She'll be next. The sun rises over Hell's Kitchen, and while the chefs get ready for another long day, Chef Ramsay is preparing a special treat for them. They have no idea that their early morning dish... People eat that shit. ...is really a frozen dinner in disguise. Morning, guys. Morning, chef. Chicken gorgonzola, yes, one of the uh, dishes that's featured on the brunch menu at Clarity's. Now, have a little taste. Nelka, what's it taste like? It melts in your mouth. The chicken is delicious. Yeah. Obviously, tomatoes lighten up the sauce. Uh -huh. Big, bold spices. You like it? Yeah, yeah chef. I love it. Delicious. Good. The dish that all of you enjoyed was, in fact, frozen fucking food. Wow. Oh, I feel like a complete ass right now. Oh, completely. The chicken was cooked about three and a half months ago. Freshness, vibrance, excitement. All I did was put it in the microwave. In retrospect, the only thing that I would think that I would ever question was the chicken. Oh. Like big, bold spices. You like it? Delicious. I thought the chicken tasted a little watery. Oh, come on! <laughs> OK, fine. I fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. You have got to rely on what you're tasting. That's why it's time for the blind taste test. 
Let's go. Everyone into the dining room. I have a great palate. I know what flavors work, what don't. I'm excited. I'm confident. I'm going to do good. Who has got the best palates? I have a good palate. <laughs> you have a good palate? Give me a break. I know Fran doesn't have a better palate than me. Time to find out. Fran, awesome. Let's go. This is always a critical challenge for Chef Ramsay, for he believes you cannot be a great chef unless you have a great palate. Pull the blindfolds down, please. Today, each chef will try to identify four foods. The team with the most correct answers wins the challenge. Russell Sprouts. Open up, please. Oh, Jesus. I'll tell you. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> What is that, please? White cabbage. Oh. What is that? Cabbage. Oh. Brussels sprouts. You've got food in your mouth. You can't hear. It's sensory overload. Open up. Autumn and Fran both failed to identify Brussels sprouts and will now taste pork tenderloin. What is that? Turkey. Roast beef. Roast beef. And sweet potato. Carrots. Parsnip? Now we're fine. Ah. Another rough day for Fran, that's for sure. Last one. Fran and Autumn are both 0 for 3 and must now try to identify coconut. This is easy. What is that? Coconut. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what is that? I know this, I know, I know this. What is it, what is it, what is it? I know the flavor. Then tell me. Potato. Oh. oh. Potato? Oh. How the fuck can coconut be a potato? God. Potato? Fran, unbelievable. Zero for four. Fran said she has a good palate. Evidently not. Fran didn't get not one. She got zero. Next up, Holly hopes to put her team on the board as she faces off against Ed. Ricotta cheese. I'm worried about Ed. What is that? Creamy polenta? Creamy polenta. Polenta, really? What is that? Um, polenta? Well, maybe it does taste like polenta. What do I know? <laughs> Chickpea. Turnip, chef. Turnips. Lima beans. Heart of palm. Tastes like pickled cabbage. Artichoke, chef. Trout. Canned tuna? Canned tuna. Tastes like trout. Or tastes like trout. Well done. Thank you. Headsets off. You're watching it on TV. You're thinking, how can they not get that? But blindfold it and you put the earphones on. It's hard to do. Jesus. Didn't get a point. Benjamin and Jason, please. Let's go. With Ben, I'm keeping my fingers crossed, but I have more faith in him than I do with the rest of the team. Fennel. What is that? Fennel, chef. What is that? Fennel Chef. Yes. After a strong start, both Benjamin and Jason strike out on kidney beans. Overcooked white bean chef. Black eyed peas chef. Come on. Butter lettuce. Spinach. Shit. Arugula chef. And mussels. Clam chef. <laughs> Oyster chef. Damn. Mussels. Benjamin, you surprise me. One out of four? I can't be perfect all the time. I'm allowed to have a bad day, right? Nilka and Jay, let's go. With the score still tied, it's up to either Nilka or Jay to bring home the win for their team. Kobe beef. Jay should have this. What is that? Corn beef. Damn. What is that? Tastes like turkey. That was Kobe. Not Brian. Beef. Oh, this is really... I'm not going to lie. I was clueless on that one. Cashew nuts. I wish I would have got these. That was like a no-brainer. Like, instantaneously, I knew what that one was. What is that, please? It tastes like pistachio. <laughs> what is that? Almonds. Shit. Come on. I got that one wrong as well. Cilantro. What is that? Cilantro. Yes. Finally. What is that? Cilantro. Yes. 
With only one ingredient left and the team's tied at three, Jay and Nilka must correctly identify eggplant. Oh, this should be easy, yes? Yes, yes. yes. Open. Open. Come on. What is that? Prunes. No! Oh. What? For the win. What is that? Roasted eggplant. <laughs> well done. Jay, very nice, Jay. Let's go. Back in line. Good job, Good job Jay. Good job. Star of the blue team was Jay. The only one who got two. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Team, congratulations. We've got a great day installed for you, yes? Each and every one of you has a VIP pass to SeaWorld. Oh, oh shit. Yes. <laughs> You're going to be visiting Shamu the whale. And then you can be swimming with the dolphin. It's an amazing day. You can have fun. Enjoy. That's what I'm talking about. Swim with the dolphins. Slap five with the whales. Holla at the seals. You know my people in the water. Ah! I love it. Red team. Today is delivery day. Trucks are going to be arriving all day long in Hell's Kitchen. So when you hear that horn honk, run outside and unload that truck. Yes, yes chef. chef. I'm just completely disappointed. We all got one except for Fran. It only takes one person to bring down the team. Today, I'm going to blame her. Damn it. First delivery was a shitload of ice. Ice. A little heavy. I'm not a weak person. I mean, I have muscles, but doing it over and over and over again just really is going to wipe us out. This just want to cool down my drink. Fuck yourself, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I hope a dolphin bites you. Up. That's a lot of ice. See you. And I'm old. I smoke. I haven't exercised in God knows how long. Oh my God, I'm collapsed. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't breathe. My bag is opening. I never thought I'd sweat so much having so much ice. I thought I was going to die for a minute. Come on, Nelka. Come on. Keep it up. I'm trying. It's a long day. It's only the beginning. This is by far the worst punishment ever. It's like a marathon. I wish we had a dolly right now. I always try to keep a positive attitude. Teamwork don't seem work, but they bitch the whole fucking time like little crybabies. I'm so fucking sick of this. This is so heavy. <sighs> My favorite sound of the day. I'd rather try and do it myself. I'll bust it out and I'll do the best I can. Okay, let me just check them in first and then I'll, I'll sign after we pull them out. Do you count them? Now what? Just take the boxes? Hold on, I'm just double checking. We're good to go here? Yeah, you're good to go there. While Ben checks in the wine, the blue team is ready to check out SeaWorld. <laughs> Come on in. We just Thank wanted you. to introduce you to some of our whales here. Let's see your dancing skills. Go ahead and spin your bodies in a circle. They're actually going to mimic you. <laughs> the whales was just incredible. I think we all collectively thought that it was just truly amazing. Goodness gracious. Wow. Go ahead and stand in front of a whale. Each person gets a question. Is Jason going to win Hell's Kitchen? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the whales are very smart. They did that right there. Hey, guys, do you like the red team? <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Who signed for this? I did. It says Gordon Ramsay at the London. Check your delivery notes. Ugh. Why the hell would they bring it here? Well, because it's Gordon Ramsay Hell's Kitchen, and then you have Gordon Ramsay at the London. I need this delivery to go back. The sooner, the better. Very annoying. Ben took control of the wine today because he's a one-man band, and now it all has to go back. Come on. This is it. I'm fed up. Whoa. What a good girl. Oh. Here's Sandy. She's one of our Atlantic bottlenose dolphins. It's going to be a lot of fun. You Everyone's all like, oh, dolphins are cuddly. They freaking scare me. We've all seen when animals attack. Show them your teeth. They're scary. Come on over here. Scary. She won't like scary. You're not scary. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. You're going to dance with her, okay? Shake your head from right to left really big. It was a lot 
of fun. It was definitely a once in a lifetime experience. Give them a nice dolphin wave goodbye. <laughs> Shipping, huh? Hello, how are you? Hi. I have a package here from Mr. Uh, Gordon Ramsay. I have one for red, which looks like you, and I have one for blue. Okay. So a special delivery came, and we don't know what's in there. Do not open till the wind is returned. I was thinking there was probably some weird, like, picture of Ramsay just saying, you know, fuck off. <laughs> They're light. Now that the blue team has returned from their reward, both teams can open the mystery packages sent to them by Chef Ramsay. Are you ready, Cut? I'm ready. Go, let's go. Hey, hurry, hurry! Hurry, Holly! What is this? Read okay, it. Read it, read it, read it. For so the first time in Hell's Kitchen, the menu is yours. Tomorrow night, each diner will decide which kitchen they would like to order from, so make sure the menu is appetizing. Doing the menu ourselves is freaking great. I'm really excited about it. This is definitely a chance to show Chef Ramsay what we can do. All right, let's go downstairs. Let's do this. Chef Ramsay's instructions call for each team to create their own original menu, consisting of four appetizers, four entrees, and four desserts. So let's, let's start with our salads. People love arugula with like roasted beets, sunchokes, little leeks. So you guys got to talk, because I'm, I'm just going to Honestly, I don't know. I don't know none of that shit you just said. The arugula is bitter. And, I know and, arugula. And spicy. The sun chokes, I don't know what it tastes like. The sun chokes, are, they're really sweet. They taste like artichokes. Nelka doesn't have too much experience. So, I mean, it does worry me. The thing is, we have to get ideas on the board. We can't just sit back. OK, appetizer. Should we do mussels marinere? How do you make it? All right, let's move on to entrees. Mm-hmm. We don't have to make it too hard. It's not just write the best menu. It's also produce it. So if we make it easy but still good, yeah, I think that's great. As far as making the menu, we wanted to keep it simple because we wanted to complete service, so we didn't write anything that nobody knows how to make. I'll tell you, the best salad I've ever had on my menu was a baby spinach salad with fresh strawberries. Uh, I like the spinach, the strawberries. It's an easy app. It's really good. It looks good. That sounds good. I think we should do a pasta. Pasta is easy. Pasta. Done. We have four great minds that came together. We'll do a filet on there. That's great. Real simple and clean. And we were just peeling off, and everything was just coming together. I mean, I think we should do something as simple as fresh berry compote with whipped cream. That'll be awesome with the berry compote. Put that on there. Keep coming up with more ideas. Keep it simple. 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 Exactly. Let's think of food that we love. What food do we love? And then we'll see where it fits in. Do you guys like mashed sweet potatoes? Oh, I like that. Yeah. I'm not a big sweet potato fan. What do we want to do for sides? We have those rainbow carrots, which are beautiful. Nah, it's too many colors. Listen, don't, don't worry about fucking colors. Worry about flavors. I mean, have you seen any dishes that I put out that look like shit? I'm a professional. Ben was like the leader of the fucking pack. But it's aggravating when someone just keeps, you know, shouting out shit. What do we want to do for sides? I love rice. I love mashed potatoes. I I'm not a big fan of serving rice in restaurants because it's like poor food. Rice is poor food? <gasps> Wow, that's fucking crazy. The classic side is asparagus and holidays. Do you guys like the idea? I don't really feel like I have an input, but go ahead no, put well, it. No, 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 go ahead, put it. You sure? I'm positive, put it, okay. After a long night of planning, both teams are anxious to start prepping for a dinner service that features their own original menus. Come on, let's go. Come on, guys. Soup is working. I'm quite psyched about this menu. I am 100% confident in the menu that the blue team has created. It's simple, easy to put out, so there should be no reason why we can't pull off service. It's three hours until the doors of Hell's Kitchen open. Right, let's go. And the teams have prepared one sample of each of the dishes they will serve tonight. Salad first. Now it's time for Chef Ramsay's inspection. We have a seared eye tuna. Bland. Not even seasoning. Yes, yes chef. chef. What the fuck is that? What is that? It's a salad of arugula, sunchokes, and a sherry vinaigrette, chef. They're crunchy and they're bitter. Yes, yes chef. chef. Okay, next. It's a uh, herb roasted chicken and grilled asparagus. Again, it's, it's all right, but can we get some foie gras and set some foie gras on there? Yes, chef. 
Most of the items that Ben decided that we had to have, Jeff Ramsey hated. Can we put a little bit of, you know, cerezo or bacon? I'm glad he ripped apart every one of his stupid dishes. Everybody needs to be cut down at the knees once in a while. Spruce it up a little bit, yeah? Everything I say is advice. Yes, yeah. Chef. Whether you take it or not is up to you. I understand. Next. That's um, a coffee mousse yeah. with the chocolate ganache. Mm-hmm. That's delicious. Who made that? I did. This, this is... It's a mojito panna cotta with a rum creme anglaise. Mm-hmm. Who made that? I did. That's delicious. Thank you, Chef. Desserts look awesome. They, they, you know, Holly did an amazing job with all of them. I was very, very, very impressed. That's delicious. Who made that? I did, Chef. So you're doing all the desserts? Yes. Outstanding. Those desserts are fantastic. Thank you, Chef. With the Red Team's menu receiving a mixed review. All right, guys, let's go. Blue Team, let's go. Chef Ramsay turns his attention to the Blue Team's dishes. So, talk to me. Uh, it's a baby spinach salad. It's got uh, just some crumbled goat cheese, some yep. strawberries. If I was a fucking rabbit, I'd be fucking wetting myself. That's a joke. Right, this is what? Chef, it's a Hawaiian-style tuna tartare. OK, I've gone from bland to boring. Just with some fucking creativity, guys. That's a uh, filet mignon, it's pan seared. That's a steak sat on three potatoes with three onions. Come on. Jesus, this is. This is a berry compote, and it's a thyme whipped cream. Uh huh. That's quite frankly one of the worst desserts I've ever been served. I'm disgusted with that, guys. Across the board, too easy. We definitely played it safe. There's no question there. And we got called out. This is your one fucking chance to show off. And so far, it's been a fucking insult, Jay. Yes, sir. Let me tell you something. Even before you serve a fucking appetizer, you're all fucked. Don't fucking insult me. We just didn't push the envelope far enough. We're busting our butts to try and fix it right now. OK, so let's just go one by one. With only a couple of hours before the doors of Hell's Kitchen open, the blue team rushes to make improvements to their menu. Getting rid of truffle butter? Getting rid of the truffle butter. The red team, however, does not. Is everybody working on something? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you need something? No, no, I don't need anything. I just want to make sure that we're, we kind of move through stuff. Right, Jean-Philippe. Chef. Let's go. Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Yes, Chef. Let's go. Red versus blue. Tonight in Hell's Kitchen, each customer will have the choice of ordering from either the red menu or the blue. I'm going to go with the blue tonight. Blue kitchen tonight. You're going to go out of the red kitchen tonight? Yes, the red kitchen. Excellent. I order four covers table 42. One pasta, one sun choke salad. Yes, yes chef. chef. I order four covers table 42, yes? One barbecue shrimp, one duck salad. With diners at the same table ordering from both menus. Two appetizers, two appetizers. Four meets the window. Let's go. Yes, Chef. The kitchens must bring food to the past together. Oh, come on, guys. Fuck it up. Ed. Yes, Chef. Why have you sliced the duck? I said four minutes, and you're firing them out like it's a fast food chain. Not thinking, Chef. I just got excited. I had that bad service before, so I wanted to be on top of my game. But I rushed it. Guys! Fucking hell! Despite Ed getting ahead of everyone else, the kitchens are now in sync. Go on, guys, please. And appetizers are making their way out to the dining room. <laughs> These leeks look gorgeous, right? Yeah. However, is it edible? It's like hard. Yes, very al dente. Not everyone is satisfied. Undercooked shrimp uh, pasta. Benjamin. Misha. Benjamin, undercooked shrimp and undercooked pasta. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. Fucking hell. How are you doing over there, Ben? Ben, how are you doing? Ben actually doesn't talk to anybody because he thinks he's better than everybody. Do you need anything? So frustrating. I have Fran next to me, and she's a clusterfuck, and I don't want her fucking near me. You need me to do anything? You know, I have milk. I don't really trust her cooking skills. So I was not happy. Why aren't you talking to her? What's the matter? Have you guys fallen out? I've tried to help him, but he's in the zone. I'm, he's... But yeah, he may be in the zone. He's going to be out of a fucking job in a minute. No one's helping him. I'm trying, Chef. I don't know. Do you need help? Yes, what chef. do you need done? Can you just pl plate this up? Yes. Thank you. Go, go. Put it on the plate. But, no, 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 fuck. Fuck, okay, get the fuck out. Damn! I didn't... Who the fuck you think you're talking to? I just said to myself, count to ten, no good, don't fucking lose it, and just walk the fuck away. Benjamin, we shall. you may not like your team, but that doesn't stop you from talking to them. Yes, yeah. Do you need anything? No. Okay. 
It's 30 minutes into dinner service, and it looks like the adjustments the blue team have made to their menu. I'm gonna order off the blue menu. The blue. The blue menu yes. again. All right. <laughs> are paying off. I'll have them decide. The blue kitchen tonight. Well, blue only. <sighs> Not one single dish for the red team. Why are they ordering off the red team? It's more appealing, chef. That's not good. Surprise, surprise. Nothing from the red team. I know, chef. chef. While the red team is busy with the few orders they have, the blue team continues to push out significantly more appetizers. I made the right choice. It was worth the wait. Now, both kitchens have moved on to entrees. Lamb, John Dory next door, bass salmon here. 30 seconds to the window, yes? Yes, Chef. While Chef Ramsay has the challenge of coordinating entrees for two kitchens, Holly has the challenge of getting the rest of her team to join her at the pass. Are you coming? Garnish! Are you coming Fuck her! Come on, you! Yes, Chef. Are you coming? What is this, a night out? If you're ready, do me one big favor. I'll just put, put it up there and then drag them, yes? Yes, Chef. Unfucking believable. You must be mad. I'm like, OK, my food's perfect. I'm putting it up. I can watch out for my own ass now. I don't have to worry about anybody else. Holly, next time you leave that lamb dying there, look at me. Look at me. You're out, OK? Let's go. Move one bass, one salmon, yes? It's working, chef. Next door, they've got. Hurry up. Just hurry up. I'm in the fucking weeds. I was not on the, only in the weeds. I was in the full-blown jungle. Jay, you've got to push it out. I'm not letting you drag the red team. Yes, no chef. chance. Fucking hell. You ready? Can I take the fork? No. Four minutes. For the fucking love of Christ. As Jay is having a hard time keeping up with the unusual amount of orders for the blue team, blue diners are waiting for their entrees. They should be coming up anytime soon. While red diners at the same table are enjoying their meals. Good. They don't bring out the food at the same time. Where's the chicken? Right here, chef. Oops, sorry. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Where's the chicken gone? Fran, where's the rest of it? I think it was a small chicken. There you go. Does that, where's my fucking chicken? Where's the other pieces gone? I'll get him. There you go. What am I doing to him? You're leaving half the fucking ch Look at all of this. The chicken's horrible. Fran doesn't know how to slice it. She doesn't know how to dice it. She doesn't even know how to cook it. Look at the chicken that's been left on there. Look, there's the breast there. Look, look at this. I've never taken a cooked breast off a chicken before. It's my fault, Chef, and I'm sorry. You're robbing the customers of their portions! I made a mistake, and I did screw up the chicken. With Fran's chicken not exactly flying out of the kitchen, Chef Ramsay turns to Autumn, who has brought her pork to the pass. The pork's raw. The fucking pork is raw! I'm not serving a fucking pork that's raw! Slightly pink, fine, but fucking bright pink, no! No, 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 no! Let's go, Autumn. Let's go! I ain't trying to say that, you know, I'm Jay-Z in the kitchen, nothing like that. But, Autumn, you ain't shit. I can cook better than you. Come on, Autumn! I need my pork to cook fast. Where's the pork? Madam! Is this too rare still? Too rare. Yes, it is. Close your oven door! Yes, Chef. Where's the pork? I need another minute. Come here, you. Fuck off in the dining room, and you explain to the fucking customer why you're so shit. Fuck off, will you? Get out of my kitchen! Here we are. Hello, I know that everyone's already eating, and it's my fault that your pork is not ready. I'm very, very sorry, and I'm working my best to get it to you, OK? All right. You're welcome. While Autumn tries to live up to her promise, over in the red kitchen, Nilka is making adjustments to her team's menu. I thought they grilled asparagus. I tried to grill it, Chef, but the hatch marks are not good. So they're watery? No, Chef, I'm not You can't grill asparagus. I know how to grill asparagus, Chef, but the hatch marks are not coming on them. So he's like, oh, Nilka don't know how to cook asparagus. You don't know how to grill asparagus. Bullshit, I know how to cook fucking asparagus. You're changing the menu, so we're just doing watered asparagus. Yes, chef. Yes, 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 chef, yes, 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 yeah, yeah. I can't even fucking say it. yes, chef. Move your ass. Yes, chef. I done said yes, chef so much tonight I can't even say it no more. It's like fucking high school dinners. Yes, chef. Cafeteria food. Yes, chef. While the red team's menu is not making the grade, Chef Ramsay hopes for an A plus from Jason's bacon. Oh, Jason, I'm fucking. Uh, just taste that, will you? Put that in your mouth and just taste that. Will you? It's fucking crispy, it's burnt, and it's fucking tastes of shit. Yes, chef. Come on, guys. Fucking hell. Puree for the pork. Jason, talk to him. 
Jason. You're right for the pork. Pure right for the pork. I think Jason definitely gets kind of flustered at times. Talk to me, Jason. Yes, chef. Fucking hell. Pure right for the pork. Stares at me like I'm fucking stupid on that. I was extremely frustrated. It wasn't pretty. That's why I ain't say nothing. Don't stand there and look at me blank, please, yeah? Fucking fast asleep. You're fucking menu. I'm fucking not impressed with your performance. While Jason tries to get it together on the garnish, over in the red kitchen, Holly is doing whatever she can to help her kitchen. Fran, do you have that beef ready to go one minute to the window? No, you didn't. I didn't even hear it. I never called it with you. Nobody fucking talks in that kitchen. They're like walking fucking zombies. It's unbelievable. I'm not ready. Okay? You didn't call it. How long on the beef? She's, she's like one minute. She oh, never even called it. it Pisses me off when they do this shit. You got it, Fran? I do, if you people just leave me alone, okay? Is the beef ready? I'm coming, chef. Can you please get out of my way? I had to get Ben out of my way. Excuse me, Ben. She's just fucking crazy, man. Everything she touches turns to shit. Not even home. Touch that. Put your hand on there. Touch it. There you go. There you go. What's the matter? Nothing, Have you, chef. Are you done? No, chef. Hey, you got it, Fran? You're OK? Can we just talk a little more? Fran's unacceptable beef is slowing down her kitchen, and red diners are forced to deal with the consequences. Well, I guess blue's good, better to get out of the kitchen than red. Two beef, yes? Yes, chef. Now hurry up, Autumn. Oh, fuck. It's not ready. My steak is still raw. Oh, come on. It's in the oven. It still needs three minutes, chef. Do you know what fascinates about you? You're so casual. I'm, I'm not no, casual. No, but you know, it's, hey, it's like going to find some lips. It's just so, you know, we're three minutes away. Who gives a fuck, right? No, I'm, I'm rushing it. You don't care. Because if you did care, you'd be putting a lot more energy into than this. Your attitude stinks. Yes, chef. I don't understand. How can I not care? Like, I'm trying my best, and I'm getting slammed. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to show that I care. Where's the beef? It's resting. It's coming, chef. It's not the beef that's resting. It's you, Autumn. Autumn sucks. And uh, what else? Autumn sucks. And uh, lastly, Autumn sucks. Enough is enough. Why don't you, Ed, do you want to finish the beef and have her start doing desserts to get ahead? Yeah. yeah. Start desserts. Thank you. Let's go. Three beef. Where's the beef? Why is she not talking to me now? And chef, why is she doing dessert? Put her on dessert, chef. Yeah. Should have done Hey, hello. Should have done that two hours ago. Yes, chef. Be nice to put a little bit more energy into the dessert. With Autumn exiled from entrees, back in the red kitchen, okay. Fran has just delivered her chicken. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's raw. Oh, fuck me. Fran! Oh. Fran! Fran! Fran, go! Fran! Never send me home. Friend! Yeah, I'm coming! What's going on with you? Why are you doing this? Chef, I keep trying to talk and nobody answers me, and it's right. very frustrating. It's like they're talking to each other and not me, and then they're like, oh, where's your beef? I'm like, you have to look at me and see my eyes and acknowledge me. I'm like, hello? But what's wrong with you? Raw fucking chicken. No. Raw fucking chicken. Leave me alone, Fran. Oh, fuck off, really. Oh, dear. Jeez, fucking panicking again. It's not true. I got chicken on the brain. Fran, yes, you're chef. frazzled. No, chef. Do you want to go home? I'm fine, chef. Well, don't give up. I won't, chef. Despite setbacks, mm. all of the diners have received their entrees. The fish is perfectly cooked. And both kitchens have moved on to desserts. Go service, please. Let's make every single one perfect. The one panna cotta and the berries. I think Ollie did a great job. She bust out the desserts, berry cheesecake. She had the best service tonight. Oh, here it comes. Mm. Oh, this is great. Let's go. Last table, guys. Right behind you. I think our kitchen did well. We just got it done, rocky or not. We finished, and we finished strong. Guys, job completed. Switch off. was pathetic. You both lost tonight. Both teams get back at the door and think from each team, one individual that should go home tonight. Now, piss off upstairs. Do the math. 
We served a lot of food tonight. So clearly they accepted our menu over the red, but we still lose. Autumn, I think your mistakes tonight, it was like stupidity. Yes. You know, like you shouldn't have sent the poor guy. That was like dead raw. It was bad because there was just no time. I don't think all in all that my performance was so terrible. It wasn't as bad as Jason's. I think I did a good job on going. Please. Like, I was picking up your fucking ass the whole day. Fuck you, bitch. I think I did a good job on Garnish. Jason's a very talented cook, but I don't think he's as good as he thinks he is, and that's sort of the problem. I don't know what the fuck happened, but my shit was done. I ain't got to go through this shit. <sighs> Tonight, it was a disaster. Today, we communicated enough, saying the tickets and repeating them over. Our communication, that's kitchen sucks. I'm sorry. I do think the communication sucks. I do. Maybe my last. How, how much communication do you need? You want me to put you a mic what? in your fucking air fryer? You know this what? is the goddamn order. No, no. Is that you don't have shit to do with communication? Yes, it it's does. execution. Actually, there was a lot of problems with things not being cooked correctly. I know, I know I fucked up my chicken. I should have had a bigger input on the menu. I made a lot of fucking suggestions that got shot the fuck down. That's right. No, 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 let's keep it simple. No, 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 it's just. Ben chairs a lot of the responsibility for tonight's loss. He had quite a bit of input on that menu, and he's still a strong cook. I hope he goes home. That'd be better for me. This place is a fucking mess. I never had a problem before working with girls, now I do. I'm fucking done. What a night. Jason, blue team nominee and why, please? Autumn Chef. Autumn had a bad night on meats tonight. Her delays just kind of held everything back. Polly, the red team nominee and why, please? A nominee is Fran. Fran. Dinner service was a mess. Raw chicken. Chicken that was barely there. It was just a rough dinner service, and that held us back a lot. Fran, Autumn, step forward. Autumn, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Regardless of the mistakes I made, I put out a lot of food that was good. You're a pain in my ass. If I don't want to be a pain in your ass, I want to be better, and I know that I can. I you know that I am able are to do it. Out of your depth. I'm really sorry, but you've become an embarrassment in the blue team. Fran, why do you think? that you should continue any longer in Hell's Kitchen. I am as good as anybody else in that kitchen. Communication in the red team sucks. So you're up here because you weren't treated properly with the team communicating to you in the middle of service. I communicate very well with the team. I would look at the tickets, I'd come back, I'd say, hey, listen, you know you have this, you know you have that. Nobody does that. They don't. Maybe I should have told you how to cut that damn chicken off the bone. Then you the wouldn't point. be standing up there. Yeah, OK. Then maybe that would have been, you know, go Good. from the top. He's not really talking down. to you right now. Use the proper knife. You I know? still am going to stand my grounds and feel it was the communication. I don't need to be babysat over my shoulder every time I do something. It's not babysat all day. If you act like you know something, then nobody have to say nothing. I thought right? I was fine today. I'm not here to, to try to, I'm trying to help you. Talk about harmony. <sighs> right. My decision is. Both of you. Take off your fucking jackets. You, madam, yes, keep your head up high. You deserve it. I'll never regret right being here. I don't regret one minute that I've spent here. I truly was the backbone of the team. They all think that the red team's stronger with me gone. The red team, they don't realize what they've lost right now. Awesome. Give me that. Ever since you started with the blue team, you've been on a downward spiral. And it's not working in there, is it? You may not have been liked by the red team, but you had your best performances there. You had a voice and some form of assertiveness. Yes. So, get back in the red team. I 
I'm giving you one more chance to prove yourself, Autumn. Good night. I'm just so relieved that my time isn't over in Hell's Kitchen. It's the best moment I've ever had. Woo! Friends gone. To see friend gone makes me happy. Glad you're not here. I'm not going to lie, I'm definitely happier Autumn's on our team. We have three solid guys, then we are just going to cook fast and hard. Fran wanted her team to communicate, but it seems the only thing her team agreed on was wanting her gone. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. So mine's going to be so good. Jay and Ed go on the attack. Jay he thinks he knows more than everybody else. You just got to communicate, you'll be fine. Get the hell out of here. Trying to prove they have what it takes. Yes, we're under pressure, but no, we're not dropping in fucking standards. To make it to the final six. This is not possible. Don't give up. Yes, yeah. But one of them goes a step too far. Get your jacket off and get out! Then... Melka! It's the mother of all meltdowns. No! Chef, don't say that, please! And one chef... Okay, gotta go. I want to cook! ...tries to take over both kitchens. Get out of here! On the most dramatic episode... Am I gonna stop? No, because this is my dream, this is my destiny. ...of the year.